All right, here we go. One test to check the health of your fuel system. On top, I have the actual rail pressure. And at the bottom, I have the rail pressure demand. This is what the computer is requesting. And that's what we're actually getting. I hit play. I give the engine a rev. First, let's take a look at the front of the curve. Now, notice the similarities between what the computer is requesting and what the rail pressure actually gets up to. Notice the similarities in the slope. Now, this means that the high pressure fuel pump was in fact able to deliver the pressure when the computer requested it. Let's start it again. Let's do it again. I'm gonna push, 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 push. I'm gonna go up a little slower this time. We're gonna maintain it high. We're gonna go a little bit higher. And then we'll drop immediately. Let's take a look at the top of the curve. Notice how it's flatlined. What this means is that not only do we have a good low pressure fuel pump, which is able to sustain the amount of flow that the high pressure pump needs to maintain high pressure in the rail, but it also means the components on the rail pressure system are in fact able to maintain that level of pressure, which is, indicates we likely have some healthy injectors. And not only that, but we also have a reasonably good relief valve. So essentially when the pressure is built up in the rail, the, there's really only two ways out. One is through the relief valve, the other is through the injectors. Given that we are able to maintain a high pressure suggests that both those components are in fact in good shape. Now when I take my foot off the throttle, a relief valve opens up to release the diesel pressure in the rail. Now sometimes this relief valve gets a little sticky and stays open for a bit too long, which can cause the van to stall. So by looking at the minimum value and ensuring it did not dip below the pressure at idle, we can confirm we in fact have a good relief valve. Now, if you want to know more about this scan tool I'm using, click this video on the right. It'll tell you all about it. If you want to know more about sprinters, check out my channel.